This video is a demonstration about how to determine the winds aloft, the wind correction angle, and the true heading. In a previous video, we determined, we, first we plotted our course from Chattanooga to Knoxville. We determined that the true course was 52 degrees and the total distance was 75 nautical miles. Now we need to determine the winds Again, the wind correction angle, and we need to calculate the true heading. So the first thing we need to do is look at the wind's loft forecast. And we can get this from uh, aviationweather.gov. Uh, there are several sources for these forecasts. And as you can see, on the left side here, we have different stations. And at the top, we have different altitudes in 3,000 foot increments. So we're going to be using the winds at Knoxville for this exercise, uh, TYS, because we're going to be traveling to Knoxville. That's the closest wind to our, our course. So let's look at the winds at 6,000. We have winds at 6,000, we have winds at 9,000. Notice we don't have winds at 7,500, which is our cruising altitude. So what we're going to do is interpolate between the winds at 6,000 and the winds at 9,000. So let's look at the winds at 6,000. Let's, let's specifically look at the wind direction. At 6,000, at TYS, the wind direction is 280. At 9,000, at TYS, the wind direction is forecast to be 300. That's a 20 degree difference. So halfway between those two, 7,500 is halfway between 6,000 and 9,000. Halfway between those two is 290. So that'll be our wind direction. So I'm gonna write that down. Now let's look at the wind speed. At TYS, at 6,000, the wind speed is forecast to be 24 knots. At 9,000, it's forecast to be 30 knots. So that's a six knot difference. So halfway between is going to be 27 knots. So the wind direction is 290, wind speed 27 knots. So we'll write that down. All right, so now we have our winds for our trip. Now we need to calculate the wind correction angle and the true heading. And we do that using the wind side of the E6B. So the great thing about the E6B is that it has step-by-step -step instructions at the top. So you can see the first instruction is set the wind direction under the true index. Well, we just determined that the wind direction was 290 or is going to be 290. So we'll rotate this so that 290 is directly under the true index, okay? The next step, number two, mark the wind velocity up from the center point. So again, I like to slide my center point to the 100 knot arc so that it makes it easy. We said that the wind velocity is forecast to be 27 knots. So 10, 20, and 27 is right about there. Okay, so I'm making a wind dot. And some people like to draw a line and an arrow back to the center point to signify the direction of the wind. So that's the direction of the wind. Okay, number three set the true course under the true index. Well, we determined that the true course was 052, so I'm going to rotate, rotate the computer to 052, so 052 is right under the true index again. And then number four, slide the wind velocity mark to the true airspeed. Well, the true airspeed was given to us 135 knots. So I'm going to slide the wind velocity mark, not the center, but the wind velocity mark up to the 135 knot arc. 
So there's 130 and there's 140, so about halfway between is 135. Okay, the next step is ground speed reads under the center. So I look under the center of the computer and it falls about halfway between 140 and 150. So I'm gonna say that the ground speed is 145, 145 knots. I'm gonna write that in here, 145. And the last step, wind correction angle reads between the center line and the wind velocity mark. So here's the center line and the wind velocity mark, and that's 10 degrees to the left. See, this is the 10 degree line. So 10 degrees to the left, remember, means that we subtract. Um, you can see this by imagining turning to the left. If you had to turn your airplane from a 90 degree heading to an 80 degree heading, turning left, that would be subtracting. If you had to turn right from 90 to 100, that would be adding. So if the wind dot is on the left side of the center line, it's subtracting. If it's on the right side of the center line, you're actually adding. So in this case, it's minus 10. So the wind correction angle is minus 10 degrees. So to get now to get the true heading, we convert the true course of 052 to a true heading by subtracting the wind correction angle of minus 10. So 52 minus 10 is 42 degrees. That is our true heading. And that's it.